Now to sports, where Andre Johnson is making headlines off the field. Sports director Bob Allen joins us now to tell us what the Texans' leading receiver has to say. He's not a happy man. We had a pretty good idea, guys, that something was up when Andre did not attend voluntary minicamp last week, and something is. He is tired of all the losing with the Texans. The greatest player in Texans history has had it with losing. Andre Johnson was presenting a check from his foundation to the Houston Area Women's Center when he was asked why he was not at the voluntary mini camp last week. When you've been somewhere for a long time, um, you know, nobody has been here as long as I have. So, um, you know, you just kind of, you know, look at things. I've been thinking about things this offseason, and, you know, I just. You know, kind of wonder is, you know, sometimes is, is this still a place for me? Johnson's frustration was evident last season in the Oakland game when he got into a shouting match with Matt Schaub and stormed off the field in the fourth quarter. Boy, this is something you don't see. I just look over my career and, uh, you know, I just kind of wonder, uh, you know, is it a place? I've only been to the playoffs twice. Um, I think we've only had three winning seasons, uh, two eight and eight seasons. So, uh, I don't think any player wants to experience that. Um, I think over time it can become very frustrating. And, uh, you know, this offseason has been very frustrating for me. Andre says he's not demanding a trade right now, but being 33 years old this season and seeing the end drawing closer, one of the greatest wide receivers in the NFL would like to experience the thrill of victory. And it's going to be a year or two before this Texans team is competitive. He may not be demanding a trade as such, but he is sending a loud and clear message that he is fed up. He missed voluntary minicamp last week. Is he going to attend voluntary OTAs and mandatory minicamp next month? If I had to say right now, no. Now, I'd hate to see the greatest player in franchise history finish up somewhere else. That's happened too often with Houston athletes. Can you say Nolan Ryan, Akeem Olajuwon, Earl Campbell? But as good a person and teammate that he's been, and a patient one at that, You'd like to see his great career rewarded with a ring, and that probably won't happen here. Ooh, hard facts. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bob. Okay.